Hi, my name is Dari Gonzalez. I'm the undergraduate academic advisor for the Department of Kinesiology and Health here at Rutgers. I am the academic advisor for students interested in exercise science, which is part of the SEBS program here at Rutgers. Today, I'm gonna go over general requirements of the major for exercise science, what you would do as an exercise science student here and talk about career options um, and just let you know about the different opportunities and programs should you decide to come here at Rutgers and be a sub student. So let's get started. So why kinesiology and health? Like I said, we are the department that holds the exercise science major. You could also minor in sport management if you'd like, if you have an interest in sport management, maybe you wanna open up your own facility and want to learn about the business side of sport. We do offer that minor for students. Most students who wanna do exercise science at Rutgers would like to do physical therapy. That is the most popular career option, but there are plenty of career options that you can do under the exercise science major. So a lot of students want to be occupational therapist, physician assistant, work in exercise physiology, uh, want to be chiropractors, athletic training, personal trainers, cardiac rehab specialists. Some students have an interest in psychology. Some students have an interest in nutrition. You can do all these career oppor opportunities here at Rutgers with an exercise science major. We are a unique major, similar to the other life sciences. We are very challenging. So we have classes like biology, chemistry, physics, anatomy, and physiology. We are a credit intensive major. Some of the less intensive majors have 35 to 45 credits. We have around 72. So because of this, you do not require a minor. You're not required to, um, to have a minor. A lot of students do pick a minor. Um, some of the popular options are health administration, psychology, public health, sport management. Um, the list can go on there. We have a unique declaration process where you come um, to a meeting and we talk to you about the major. You are eligible to do that after the first semester of your freshman year. So as an exercise science major, there's a strong science foundation. There is a focus on human anatomy and physiology. That is the difference between some of the other life sciences here at Rutgers. You are prepared for further specialized graduate study, or you can have a direct entrance into a variety of fields related to exercise physiology, biomechanics, or sport medicine, and even other fields. And we have a lot of opportunities for upper level certifications in the rehabilitation and fitness industries as well. So here's a general snapshot of the exercise science major, the curriculum. Like I said, we're 72, 74 credits. Um, so you have your foundations courses in the beginning, you do your biology, chemistry, your physiologies, and then you go on to the more specific upper level classes like biomechanics, exercise testing and prescription, and then you have your internship at the bottom, your senior capstone course that we'll talk about in a little bit. This is a sample course plan of study. Just wanna stress that it is a sample. Every student has their own path. Um, so this is just an idea of the classes you would take as a Rutgers student. I'll note this is just for the major. So you would also have your SEBS requirements, those other requirements like English, um, maybe some arts and humanities courses, things like that, to finish out your full four years. We have a very cool opportunity here at Rutgers as a SEBS student you are eligible for the DPT 4 plus 3 program. And that is a program specifically for students who wanna be a physical therapist. Um, this is an accelerated program, it's a specialized program. So this is something for a student who knows from day one here at Rutgers they wanna be a physical therapist. It's a program you would apply in your freshman year in the spring. Um, you do a four year undergraduate with Rutgers, and then you go on to the three-year graduate DPT program at a Rutgers graduate school, either the North or South campus. Um, so if you have questions or you wanna learn more about that program, the contacts here, Dr. Nicole Nagel, our program director, or Dr. Lisa Rossman Murphy, who's a program advisor, you can email either of them to learn more about the program. Um, this is a select program. You go through an application process, um, and it's looking for strong candidates who really want to do physical therapy and know. So like I said, you have a required internship. Um, this is to provide students with the opportunity to apply knowledge and skills developed in the classroom to professional environments. So it gives you that real world hands-on experience. Um, all students must complete this internship. It is mandatory. 
but it is a really great opportunity for you to have as an exercise science major. You don't get this in the other sciences. I mean, you might not get this at other schools as well. Um, and I'll note that while I said most students want to be physical therapists, not all students do. So if you are a pre-med student, you can absolutely go to a hospital and do your internship. If you're pre-dental, you can go work in a dentist's office. Um, it all depends on what your career goals are. As long as it's in the health science related field, you can absolutely do your internship there. Um, and it's done in your senior year and really helps you solidify um, what career option you may want to pick for graduate school. We have a really amazing study abroad program. We run our own study abroad program through the Department of Kinesiology and Health, and it is done in Greece. We offer it in the winter and summer, and this is done to not interfere with your fall and spring courses. Um, many students need to be on a more strict schedule to apply for graduate school. So to not interfere with those classes, we offer it in the winter and summer. Um, you get to learn about the culture and the lifestyle of the people in Greece, how they eat, how they live, how they sleep. Um, and of course, you get to learn about their history, right, and go to all the archaeological sites, things like that. It's a really amazing opportunity to go spend two weeks in another culture and another lifestyle. Um, it is run and, and the tour is led by our, pro, uh, our um, chair, who is from Greece. So you get that connection right there, someone who's gone and lived in Greece most of his life and came here. Um, so he's your tour guide, but he's also your educator. You're going to learn so much and you will work. So it's, it's a really great program. And as an exercise science student, you do have the opportunity to complete your internship in Greece. A lot of students like to do this to be able to get that abroad experience, but also get their internship in. And you get to go to state-of-the-art facilities um, for PT, sports medicine, um, sports rehab, We've had students work with Olympic swimmers in the past. So it's a really cool, unique opportunity to do your internship. It's something great to put on your applications and your resumes that you did this. This is just a little snapshot, and it's not even all of them, but some of our research and programs. So we have a lot of cool research opportunities. One of the most popular ones being our Rutgers Sleep Lab. Um, we have our Exercise Psychophysiology Lab, our Cardiac Neuroscience Lab, our um, Exercise and Gastrointestinal Lab. Um, we have labs that are developed every year, so this list will change and we'll have more even next year. Um, it's a great way for students to get involved in research, and they can turn this into an honors research as well. And you can see our programs listed at the bottom. Um, we have really cool programs for students to get involved in if they can't um, make the time commitment to research. There are other ways for students to get involved. Our departmental honors research program, we just want to let you know the exercise science major has a departmental honors program and departmental honors research program. The research pro program happens in your junior and senior year, and some of those cool labs that we saw on the slide before, you would do the research in them too for honors research. Additional programs and opportunities, like I said, we have plenty of research opportunities. We also have our course assistant position in anatomy. This is an extremely popular choice. Students take our functional human anatomy course, which is a human cadaver lab. Um, not only one, but two human cadaver labs that we have. And Rutgers is one of the only universities in the country that has a human cadaver lab in the undergraduate program. So that, that alone is a very unique opportunity that you would take as a Rutgers student, but then you can be a course assistant the following year or years, depending on when you take it. Um, and that's another great thing to put on a resume or application that you got to be a course assistant for a human cadaver lab. We have our graduate programs in uh, master's and PhD, um, and the Kinesiology and Health Club is one of the great ways to get involved here at Rutgers. As a substudent, you wanna be as involved as you can and be as well-rounded as you can during your four years here. Um, the club is a way to get involved and we, they bring in guest speakers. Maybe it's speakers that are recent graduates, um, place jobs that will come out and talk to you, physical therapy um, students or those from physical therapy schools who teach will come out, um, but not only physical therapy. This We will get some insight from fitness instructors, those who own their own businesses. So it's a really great way um, to get involved with other students here who are in the exercise science major. Um, we have our Center for Exercise and Aging, our Youth Sports Research Council, our Disability Center for Health and Wellness. Um, the list goes on for the programs and ways you can get involved as a Rutgers exercise science major. You obviously have a great support system here at Rutgers. We take great pride in that. Um, you have your SEVS advisors, you have 
me, a department advisors, if you're in athletics, you have advisors. Um, and we like to stress, you know, it's a great thing to get involved. Like I said, we have our programs and research, but you can get involved in a lot of other ways too, um, not academic wise. And putting it all together is, is the best way to get your experience here at Rutgers as a SEP student. I am your academic advisor, like I said. I put this slide up with the email because obviously this is an open house, so you may have not made your decision yet. Please feel free to email me at any point during your decision making. If you have more specific questions about the major, our program, Rutgers, SEBS, anything you wanna know, I'm happy to help you um, and aid you try to make your decision. Rutgers is a great uh, program here. Uh, I love working here, I love helping the students, and I'm, I'm really happy to help and, and answer any questions you may have. So if you have any questions, like I said, my email address is down there. We also have our website, kines.ruckers.edu. It really has a wealth of information about exercise science and our program. Um, you can get a lot of answers there, um, but I can help you navigate that as well. And for you students who wanna learn how to get involved without seeing what's going on exactly yet, please follow our Instagram account, our Are You Kines Advising? We update things all the time on that Instagram account. Um, and it can give you a really good idea of what our program is about, what we're doing and what we're up to. Um, so I definitely recommend following that as you're, you're going through your open house and making your decisions. So that's all I have for you. Uh, I hope you found this information useful for you in making decisions. Like I said, please feel free to reach out to me. I can answer any questions that you have um, and I hope you do come to Rutgers. We'd love to have you. And like I said, if you have any questions, just let me know.